Hi, it's Sharon. So it's autumn at the moment and we are going to be making a hanging garland. Now these are nice to hang in your window. You can hang them on your wall or wherever. But if you hang it in the window and the sun catches it, because I've got a bit of glitter on them, as you can probably see, I'm going to bring it nearer. They sparkle and they look absolutely lovely. So, these are artificial leaves, you can probably tell. Um, you can do many things with them. I haven't really got the time to do that today. So I bought them and they come on one long sort of strand. And you just literally, just be careful, they're sort of a plasticky um, coated. And just pull them from the plastic, like this. Whoops, there we go. And then what you, what you need to do is sort of make sure that you can sort of pair them together to make one leaf so it's two sided and I've put the sort of more shiny I've tried to put the more shiny side on the inside so get some of those you can use as many as you wish I've sort of on my first one I've used three I've made three leaves so I needed six leaves there we go just gonna put that there you will need some glitter I've got some nice autumn colours there some pine cones and also I've got some acorns as well I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do with the acorns I might not even use them but I've got them because it is nice to have something a little bit different on it and I absolutely love the acorn cups and if we don't use them today we will use them for a different craft on another day I've got oops, a paintbrush and a small paintbrush and some glue and I've also got, I've, I've had to split it open because we're sort of running out of it. I've got some fabric glue, some high tack glue. It's better for the leaves. With them being fabric it's much better to use on them. And, oops, and a nice long piece of garden twine. Now this is purple, you can use any colour. It's perfectly fine. I'm trying to work out how long it is. It's about, I'd say it's over three foot. So you start off with the first bit, just make a loop, big enough so you can tie a knot. And that's so that you can hang the things from it. Now you can also do, you could also dry out some orange slices in the oven. I, I was originally, I wanted to do that, but it takes quite a long time. So if you're very dedicated, I'd, I'd suggest you make a few first. And then if you really enjoy doing them, that's when you could do something like that because you do them on a very low heat but they take about six hours it's a really long time and then you get your pine cones now to make it a bit easier i've already glittered mine up it's just mainly to save time and i'm going to get the first pine cone i'm going to move this so you can actually see me working properly there we go you don't need to see my face and I'm just going to thread it round the pine cone. Now this one's going to be a bit tricky, of course. There always has to be one. It, it worked earlier. So I'm just going to thread that through. And we're going to pull it tight. Nice and tight. And I'm using that one as the bottom one. Just going to tie another knot in there. Pull it nice and tight. And just cut off this little bit. Don't cut the long string if you need it. So that's the first one on the bottom. Now I'd give it wide enough to fit a leaf in between and then I would add your next one. So I'm going to use one of these pre-glittered ones. You need to leave it, I'd say, when you've glittered them about half an hour for it to dry off. You'll know if it's ready. And you just wind it round Pull the long piece through. Oops. It's a little bit fiddly, but it's worth it. Oops. There we go. Nice and tight round there. Just slip it under. You can't really see them. It tends to be sort of invisible once you start doing it. As you can see, I've got bits of glitter dropping off. Then we want the next one. Um... 
exact same colour, just trying to check to see if they look a little bit different. Wind it round, tie it on. Oops. There we go, pull it through. That's looking good. We'll have a little break in a minute so you can see properly. That's it. The next one's on. So we now have three tied on. I'm just trying to sit back so you can see. There. So we've got three. Whoops, lift that up. Three pine cones. And I think we'll have one quite near the top as well. We've got enough room for one more. Um, let's have a look. Oops. As always, Storm's come to join us. He loves to join us when we're doing some crafting. Sit down, please, Storm. You're not in the way. That's it. Tie that one on. Pull it nice and tight. And there we've got four pine cones on this one. And between, we've got one, two, three gaps where we can put some leaves. So this bit's a bit fiddly, but it's it's fine we can manage it we can do it so i'm going to pair some leaves together make sure they all match up got the shiny side on the inside dull side they still look quite shiny on the outside if you've got some brown um what is it some brown uh, acrylic paint or any colours if you want to dull them a little bit because they're sort of fabric you can go you can actually paint on them but you know that's that's entirely up to you so we need a brush and we're going to dip it into the fabric glue i'm going to show you what i'm doing again and we're just gonna glue that up there we go let's glue it on there always make sure you've got some um paper underneath to work on. I've got a sheet of paper on top of some um, wrapping, not wrapping paper, parcel paper. Because when you're finished, if you're using glue and glitter and getting messy, you can just literally roll it up and throw it away. So that one goes there. Then we get the matching one. I'm hoping this is the right side. And if you want it to look like it's a falling leaf, you can position it any way you want. You get the string and you put it in the middle, like so. Then you get your second leaf, you put it on top, and you press it down. Now your string is in the middle. Now if you want to, you can get, I've got a paintbrush and I am just patting it on with the paintbrush just to sort of make sure that it's well and truly stuck. Whoops. Made it slip a little bit. So that's the first one. I'm going to hold it up so you can see. There's the first leaf. Then we're going to move on to the next one. Make sure you've got plenty of glue on it. And there's the next one. Oops. Same principle. So cover the leaf in glitter. I mean in glue. The glittering bit comes later. Right to the ends. That's it. You okay to um, storm? Causing mischief. There we go. lovely make sure it's got a match put it on here this one's going to be falling the a different way i'm going to try and position it slightly different because i don't want it to look exactly the same there and we've got it's one to go on top same as last time get your brush if you've got it or you could use your hand to smooth it down and just oops move those spare leaves pat it down oops coming undone and 
next one uh, this will be the final one for this one so we're just going to make sure the dull sides on the back and the dull sides also on the back on this one yep and we're going to put some glue on So we've got that glue on. Right to the top. And with this one, we'll make it look like it's falling that way. To the side. Oops. Ugh. Sticky. And we'll get the other piece. Oh, I'm picking one of the other leaves up. <coughs> And that one on there, like that. I'm just gonna then stick them together. I'm gonna do this one with my hand, so you can press it down like that. Perfect. are full of glue and glitter and everything so I'm a bit messy but it's fine. so there we have the hanging decoration now finishing touches now I did say that if you wanted you could you know sort of suggest that you could put a bit of glitter on it now I had a bit of glitter that on this paper so some of the leaves I've actually picked it up I'm sure if you can see but what you can do is if you just do like a, a brush brush over with the glue you can add a little bit of glitter just leave them to dry somewhere where it'll dry off so depends what color you want you don't have to go mad with the glitter but they're really really nice when they catch the light i'm using a clear glue here just a normal glue pva i'm just gonna rub some bits of glitter on that on Make sure you've got some some paper to catch your glitter because recycling is good and we can always use it again for something else. So I'm going to use a little bit of this on here. And we'll put the final leaf on. It's not on the paper. Whoops. Ooh, went a bit mad there. So we're going to shake them off. And that one, so we've got lots and lots of glitter on there. Just going to turn the leaves over onto the other side because we need to do both sides. Not too much glue on this one, just dab it about. And a bit of glue on there. Looks fab. So the glue that we've got left, I'm just going to try and sort of flick it on from this piece of paper. Oops. Or you can sort of dip the leaf into it. Oops. There we go. Dipping it into the glitter. And the final one. Dip it into the glitter, give it a little tap. And there we have a lovely autumn. Oops, I'm just going to lift this. Lovely autumn garland. And as you can see, when the light's catching it now, it looks absolutely amazing. Thank you for joining me. Let me know what you think. Leave comments, and I'll see you again soon. Thank you. Bye.